Hi, fellow Pagarians. It is I, your king, Pagalicious, with a video for my Pagarian people. Yeah, as you can t as you can tell from the title, I'm talking about those donkeys, those Jack donkeys, Democrats. Yeah, I'm talking about Demo I'm talking about you Democrats, you, you uh, Nancy Pelosi and AOC, all Democrats. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about how Democrats are communist. Also, socialist, but that's still the same thing. Since socialism, okay, let, let's start off with that. Let's start off with socialism and communism, how they relate. Socialism and communism basically stand for the same ideals. They, they might have a Point zero 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 one percent difference, but that's a, a difference that's so low that it, it doesn't really matter. They're basically the same. So when you have AOC, who's a socialist, and I've just mentioned social socialism is basically communism, you realize that she's a communist. Okay, now, point number two. Huh? Okay. Democrats, okay, want who pay for everybody. Nobody gets anything more or anything less. Nobody does. And if you look in the definition, in the definition of communism, everybody gets equal pay. Yeah. So that's two out of the uh, four reasons why Democrats are communists. Okay. Point. Number three, we have to look into the history of communism. Like, how did communism begin? And which nations became communists? Well, if you look into the history of communism, you found out that it was written by some person, and it's called Communism Manifesto. And once it was published, People, or, or specifically, slowly, democratic nations. Read it, and said, Hmm. Hmm. You know what? This type of ideology doesn't sound that bad. So you know what? Let's become communist. And did I mention that all democrat that slowly all democratic nations did this? Yeah. Point number so yeah, that's three out of four. It's starting to look bad for the Democrats. Point number four. Let's just type a lot. Point number four. Well, not really a point. Just just a just a type a lot. Just a f fact to put out there that America is a republic. Okay. Yeah, it's a republic. Most everybody knows that from the clips. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag and to the United States of America and to the Republic. Not to the Democratic Republic, not to the People's Republic, not to the Democratic People's Republic. 
just republic. You know, I find it funny that a lot of people with dark complexion are, are Democrats. I, I just find it funny. Especially when you look into the history of elections. Okay, so first off, as we all know, or some of us here in the States, you would know this, that Democrats are blue. Republicans are red. Everybody in America knows this. So, if you were to look at the electoral votes after the Civil War, you would notice that most of the states that are part of the Confederacy would turn, voted Democrats, and most of the, and most of the, and almost all. In, in almost all, if not all, of the nations that were part that, that didn't secede from the United States, voted Republican. Yeah, that. So I just find it funny <laughs> if you link up the history of the Democrats in America, and then you look and you see that colored people, and a lot of times African Americans are Democrats, when the original Democrats were most likely the safe one holders. And you know, I, 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 saw on, I saw on the news that somewhere about what Trump said would send shivers down our, shivers down the American founding fathers, that it would send shivers down their spine. <laughs> about people with color. Well, let me tell you something. It, it wouldn't really do that to them. Okay? It wouldn't really do that to them. Because most, like, about three or four of, our, of the founding fathers were slaveholders. Like, for instance, George Washington. He was a slaveholder. Uh, what's his name? Uh, is I'm pretty sure his name is John Adams. But John Adams, he was a slaveholder. And then, uh, okay, so that's George Washington. I, I'm trying to remember the 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 the, the founding fathers. Okay, so it's George Washington, John Adams. Ben Franklin, and who's the last one? Anyway, yeah. Point 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 is, some some of the American founding fathers were slaveholders. So, to say that all that it would send shivers down the spines of all the founding fathers is not accurate. It would send shivers down the spines of of part of just about two of the founding fathers. It, it, it wouldn't send the shivers on the spine of the other two founding fathers, because they were slaveholders. You know, they were slaveholders. <laughs> and you might be saying, how could you be saying this? Well, the point is, don't ban me, YouTube. Stand down, YouTube. Stand down. Stay in town, Facebook. Don't. YouTube, don't, don't. Tell the Facebook. Uh, I proud to be a, conser a conservative. Because, as we all know, the First Amendment is free speech. Meaning, in America, you can say anything you want. You can say, Trump is the greatest person. I know. Some of you might hate that, but it's true. Other, you, other, other people might say, Trump is the worst. Okay. You know, I wish... You know, 
Trump, Trump isn't a Republican, but he also isn't a Democrat. Right now, his, his focus is set on America. Okay? Now, I'm not trying to promote Trump, even though you know, I'm a Trump supporter. But I'm not trying to su support. This isn't. Yeah, this isn't that. But fun fact before Trump ran for office, you know, like in the year 2000s, he was a Democrat. But then, slowly, as he realized that he wanted to run for office, he chose to switch to a Republican, to the Republican side, the light side, in my opinion, because he knew, he knew that, that statistically, a Republican would have a better chance of staying in the office than a Democrat. I mean, have you seen Bill Clinton, who is a Democrat, and he got impeached. I'm pretty sure that's what was on Trump's mind was if he was a Democrat he would go out like Bill Clinton. I mean a lot of the Democratic leaders throughout American history I'm pretty sure have been impeached. I I'm not really sure on that one so don't take my word for it. But I'm pretty sure most of them have. What are we at? Oh, we're almost out of time. Anyway, yeah. Let's just imagine, okay? Let's just imagine for a moment that America is communist. We, the American people, to decide that we are going to be communists. What would happen? Well, I tell you what would happen. I, I'm just looking at the time right now. I tell you what happened. Most likely. Here's the thing. We would all be equal, okay? Yeah. But the leader, <laughs> the leader would be slightly more equal than you. Okay? That's the irony. They are, the leader is always slightly more equal than you. Okay? And you can, like, rock. If the leader likes pop, or you can like pop, as long as the leader likes pop. You know? And all your money, all your extra money, goes into the collective. You know, like, I guess taxes are like that, but, you know, in a communist government, you own none of your stuff. It's all owned by the government. So yeah. You you don't own your car, you don't own your house, you don't you don't own your whatever. You you uh don't own your TV, you don't own your computer in a communist government, it all belongs to the government. Land belongs to the government. No matter where you are, it, it's government. It's government property, no matter where you are in a co communist government. Which is why I do not like communism. Even though I'm a king and you think, Oh, n no wonder you hate communism. You're a king. And you was learning history. Communism hates kings. And to that I say, you're somewhat right. But anyway, yeah. Okay, yeah, we're at 14 minutes and 30 seconds and 3 seconds. But anyway, yeah. Toodaloo, bye bye, and all that kind of stuff. And. Yeah, I'll forgive you.